Good evening, friends. I, Lieutenant General Anup Singh Jawal, Param Bishis Seva Medal, Ati Bishis Seva Medal and Bar. Bishis Seva Medal, ADC. I learned that a living Dogra legend, Major General Gavardhan Singh Jamwal, has not been running good health for the last 10 to 12 days. Well, General Gavardhan Singh Jamwal, he was the last general commissioned by Maharaja Hari Singh in September 1947. And he has been the first general of the Indian Army from erstwhile state forces. My association with General Jamwal is from early 50s when I was in childhood. And he was a neighbor in state officers' quarters, Satwari. Then, of course, I had interactions with him in my different staff and command appointments in my career. And after retirement, I found in him a good friend, philosopher, and guide. He was always available for any interactions and always available to render him advice. Well, gentlemen, well, friends, I dedicate this video of mine to a living legend as a tribute to the living legend, Jal Kavardhan Singh Jambal. Background. Major Gavardhan Singh Jambal comes from a humble family of a cavalry soldier of Shivalik Hills, the foothills of Himalayas. He was born on 2nd September 1928 in village Suchani. Village Suchani at that time had no roads, no school, no dispensary, no power, and no water even except for the pond. For his schooling, he had to traverse 14 kilometers in a rugged shivalik terrain which he recalls and he contributes that that added soldier qualities of courage, determination, self-reliance in him. Sajani has produced six generals, and today it also has the Central University located in it. Jal Gavardhan belonged to a proud Dogra lineage of General Baj Singh, of Chitral Fim, and Brigadier Rajinder Singh, the savior of Kashmir. General Zarabar Singh, who is known as Napoleon of India, these three personalities have been his heroes and icons. He had his education in Prince of Wales College Jammu, which is presently called Government Gandhi GGM Science College, Gandhi Memorial Science College. And he is also a graduate of Defence Services Staff College, Wellington. He was commissioned by Maharaja Hari Singh in state forces in September 1947. Well, the first day of his service was in active operations of JNK in Uri sector. Subsequently, he also participated in 1965 Indo Park operations in Kham Karan sector in Punjab. Well, the career profile of General Gavardhan Singh. He was ADC to Dr. Karan Singh, Sadari Riyasat of GNK from 
year 1954 to 1957, he commanded his battalion, 9 Jackriff. He was also infantry brigade commander of 36th Infantry Brigade Jammu. He commanded two mountain dev in the northeast. He was also the military secretary to the president of India. He retired from there in 1984. He was, he has been, senior vice president of Indian ex Servicemen League, which is affiliated to the Royal Commonwealth ex Servicemen League located at London. President of India is the patron in chief of this organization. He has been raising two colonies for the welfare of soldiers and the veterans. He is associated on the social and welfare field. He is associated with numerous organizations. He was the president of Dr. Karan Singh's Dharmat Trust, including Mother Vaishnu Devi Shrine. He was president of, he has been president of Maharaja Gulab Singh Trust. He was also member of Rajya Sainik Board, along with the governor of JNK. He has been advisor to 114 years old Dogra Sadar Sava and all the civil society forums. Well, he has been a very prophetic writer. He has written a Hindi novel by name of Gauri, covering the life and the culture of the Dogras. His latest book, Veller and Betrayal, Last Man, Last Round Battles of Brigadier Rajinder Singh, the first MVC of JNK operations in 47. 1947. This book covers events from 15th August 1947 to 27th of October 1947, that is when the Indian troops landed up in Shindigar. He has been a, he has been eyewitness to unfolding of events as an officer serving in the JK rifles that time. He has been able to have first-hand accounts of so many war heroes and the eyewitnesses. Well, the book is worth reading, by, especially by all soldiers serving in GNK. Well, ladies and gentlemen, General Gavardhan Singh Jamwal has been a die-hard soldier and a general, both of GNK forces as well as the Indian Army. He, he has constantly endeavored to awaken the Dogras in heritage, in the culture, in Dogriyat, and in military ethos and the ethos of the Dogras. A tireless worker with extra enthusiasm and extra energy, despite all, despite his age and stage. Well, I take this opportunity of saluting him for his courage and endeavors, wishing him an early recovery and good health and happiness. Jai Hind.